Okay, uh, this is what I get. Okay, when I open it, it shows like this way. So, uh, first of all, just a couple of things. Now, this one looks like you use the file that I suggest to use for Euclidean construction, right? This is, we need the full kind of uh, the, the method from GeoGebra, right? We don't risk ourselves to do that, right? So don't use this file anymore. That is only for Euclidean construction part. Now we need the full GeoGebra tools, right, to, to, to make our teaching module, right? So uh, not, not like this, right? Just use the regular GeoGebra one. Another thing is, I think I mentioned this one today's class, right? Uh, like a construct quadrilateral ABCD is not necessary, right? We we should provide the ABCD, right? So in this case, uh, when this is just op when I what I get when I open your file. So this one already shows these uh, diagonals are bisecting each other, right? So soon don't need to use anything unless they want to do something else later. So uh, and even it gives the the answer right one one cases right so I think it's better to have starting with this right some kind of off shape just regular just arbitrary quadrilateral I think it's better and it, it shows uh, they are not bisecting okay, at all so and even these are the midpoints of each diagonal right? so yeah maybe it's okay right? I mean, it's up to you but First of all, I, I mean, definitely we don't need this, right? Uh, just saying, okay, like a, for any quadrilateral ABCD, maybe th that's enough, right, over here. And, okay, let me do this. So go through construction, and it's a capitalized W, right? But at the end, move uh, the vertices to help you make your conjecture. Uh, yeah, go through with the construction. The construction is not related to what we guide them, right? So, not like this, right? Just uh, at the end, just this portion, right? Move around the vertices to help you make your conjecture, right? So, like, a, so put, put this together and even draw this. So, put all these three texts together, just saying, for the given quadrilateral ABCD, move around the vertices uh, to help you make your conjecture uh, regarding the following questions or something like that, right? And the first question is, when do the diagonals bisect each other? And you gave these all three questions all together, like, uh, so it's not... I mean, we won't guide them like do one by one, right? So you just put the answer for the kind of last one only, right? So how about separate this one, right? Not as a one text, but one and give some space here and some type of checkbox or whenever they got uh, that case, right? The bisecting case, then this one, the text appears like, oh, you got it. So like a, maybe they just miss it, right? Maybe they don't realize they got the bisecting cases. So over here, uh, like a, I mean, it's not must, but the question is the same color like this one, right? It, because it's your side, right? Your side is just black. But uh, when they got the right cases, that maybe red colored text appears, like right? saying, oh, you got it right now, okay? And do you know what this one is, right? And name of that code letter in this case, like the, 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 not giving the answer, but let them know they got the, the one case and asking what is the name of that case, right? So this one, this type of title, whenever you got the rumbles or anything, it appears really nice. I like it, but that is only for at the end, right? So hint and like that. Then whenever you click it, this this one also shows over there, right? When, when they have to finish all the kind of activities, right? And for second case, is it possible to have uh, diagonals then, uh, intersect each other? Yeah, it's possible, right? Again, so when they do this one, then 
Oh no, the text appears. Oh yes, that's the case. I like it. And and is it the only only case? Or do we have something more? And they do this way. Uh, same same thing, right? So it's kind of exactly the same thing. So you just asking and asking, do you have some some other cases? And you don't need to give the answer for that. And the so students kind of got the no. I try here and there, but these are the only case like getting this diverse like intersecting. Maybe that's enough, right? Okay. And the third question is how or why not, right? But that is uh, the related to the bisecting case, right? Okay. So if you just ask this way, then it looks like it's asking about number two, okay? How do you get the non-intersecting diagonals, okay? Or why not or something like that? So, uh, it's not really look good, right? So show all of these those quadrilateral. I think it's related to the first question, really, right? So maybe you need to rearrange it, right? So this should be number two, and that should be number three, right? I mean, just to look at what we want to teach, right here. So through this activity, we want them to know that among the all the possible quadrilateral. There are a few cases having those uh, diagonals uh, bisecting each other, right? And we want them to know the names of it because they already have those names, right? When they do this part, so that's the, that's what I want. But the other parts are really nice. Okay? Whenever we, they got the bisecting case, this text appears over here, right? But now you see, right? This this is what I got when I, when I open here. So this text doesn't look. Position in the nice way, right? So, because you worry about maybe they just playing around, right? So, then in that case, maybe it's better to place this one over here, right? So, make some space and put that over there. Okay. I know some cases because they are going to look at this position, right? When they play around, so maybe it's better get their kind of attention if you place this uh, text in here. Good, right? Then maybe not not this way, and even it's not showing all altogether. It should be someplace else, right? Okay. Or with a different color, maybe at the top, right? Then I think it's much better. Right? They could realize that right? okay. much better way. So it's yeah, small details. So having that, it's good, right? So I mean, uh, I'm not gonna <laughs> delete any points. Like oh, it's a wrong, wrong place. <laughs> not like that. But uh, when I see this portion, it's it, it looks like we just there are some unnecessary steps here. It's not only unnecessary; it maybe guide them uh, in wrong way, right? Because it says construct a quadrilateral. Okay, do I have to construct it, right? But it shows A, B, C, D. So what do I do, right? Like that, right? So uh, just that part. But other parts are really nice. Okay, so please keep doing this way. But please think some more when you do this. Text part, right? What what uh, contents we wanna teach here, right? Okay. What conclusion we expecting from our students? Then how are we gonna guide them to do that, right? So, okay, thank you.